welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a summer essentials video. I have been wanting to do one of these and here it is mid-July already and I haven't done this, but I'm still gonna do it because here where I live especially, it is hot until almost October. So I know a lot of these things I'm gonna be using for the next couple of months and be gravitating towards. So I am going to be sharing these items with you. And if you are new here, my name is Courtney. I make motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning, haul videos, a lot of fun stuff. And I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first things I'm gonna be sharing with you are hats. I never used to be a hat person, but now I absolutely love them. I don't know what happened, but I'm like really into hats in the like warmer weather. Um, the first example is just like a regular baseball cap. I love to wear these um, when I go running, walking, just doing work outside, cleaning, things like that. The other one is a sun hat. I love to wear these if you're outside. At the beach, I wear those a lot. I just think that they're really nice and fashionable, but they're also really good as a way to kind of block your face from the sun because we need to stay protected. <laughs> But yeah, so hats are definitely a must for me in the warm weather. Another thing I've been loving this summer are like fanny pack bags and purse belts. So a long time ago, I absolutely hated fanny packs. I thought they were like the dorkiest thing ever. And my family can vouch for me for that. But I recently got one and I love it. <laughs> and it's so weird for me to say that, but I just got like a plain black leather one. And I really like this, it goes with everything. It just kind of like sits right here on the hip and it's very easy because if you're out and about, you're walking around more um, outside at like festivals, fairs, you know, going on vacation, it's so easy just to throw on instead of carrying a big purse with you. So I love that one. And I also got this one, this is a belt. It's really, really cool because it can go like right in your pant loops or you can just kind of, kind of like stick it around here as a belt. But this is my, a Michael Kors one. I got this on sale at Marshall's, I believe. And it was only 25 bucks, which is such a steal for this because it works as a belt and a purse and it's Michael Kors. So I was like, heck yeah. All right, my next summer favorite is a book. I love to read books in the summer. For some reason, I don't know, it's like easier for me to pick it up because if you're at the pool or you're just outside relaxing, I'll go read a book. When the kids are napping, I like to go outside and read if it's not like super hot. The one that I'm reading now is called Yes, I Still Love You. It is by Ginny Hahn and it is the sequel to the Netflix movie To All the Boys I've Loved Before. And I just thought that movie was so darn cute and I love, I'm probably gonna say his name wrong, Noah Sintomo. Tiomo, something like that. Oh, I picked up the book to go ahead and read that before the second movie comes out. So I'm excited about that. All right, the next essentials are bathing suits and cover-ups. And I know that's kind of like a given, but I just love like the patterns and everything. And I love now that they make them a little bit more like to fit different bodies. So I hate like the little like low rise bikinis now. So I always get the high waisted ones. And right now I am really into cup she. So I have been getting their bathing suits for like four years now, but they just keep getting cuter and cuter. So if you have not got a cup sheet bathing suit, go look at their website. Their bathing suits are like 25 bucks for both pieces, which typically in like a regular store, you're getting one piece for 20 or 25 bucks. This is one that I recently got. It just looks like this. It has the straight across kind of front and then it goes up into one sleeve. And I love that it's got a little flower on here. It's super cute very comfortable you can take this off if you want if it bothers you but i kind of like it on there and then the bottom is just high waisted it's got like the little i like the little like ruffle here it kind of like hides your stomach but it goes up pretty high and then it also is reversible so you can wear it with the yellow and the pattern if you don't like to be too super matchy so i love that one i also got a cover which the brand on this is Azure, but I got it at TJ Maxx, I think. It was like under $10. It's just kind of like very sheer, but really nice. It's just the regular leopard print and then it has like teal on the sides. Super, super cute. Okay, my next essential are denim shorts, uh, specifically Levi's. I used to never buy Levi's 
I don't know, there for a while, they were like known as like the like dorky mom clothes, <laughs> which I think is so funny because like they're really popular now and I love them. And they are the most like comfortable fitting shorts for my body that I have been able to find. And I got these ones, they just look like this. But I got the darker, well, they're not super dark, but like this medium wash a couple years ago. But I just got these ones this summer recently and they're kind of like a lighter wash with sprays at the bottom and then they just look like that and these i actually picked up at marshall's for like 15 dollars, which is insane because these shorts are usually like super expensive so if you want to try levi's go check out tj maxx or marshall's and you might be able to find them there because i was shocked they had a lot all right my next summer essential are hair ties I love putting my hair up in the summer, um, all the way or just halfway, just because I have super frizzy, like thick hair and it just, it's a nightmare in the humidity. So I try to keep it up as much as possible, but I have been loving just regular hair ties, but also the scrunchy form. I know it makes me feel like uh, I'm 15 again, <laughs> but I just think they're so cute. So this is one that I've been wearing a lot it just looks like this. It's black and white, very cute on. I also have the bow version. So I have this one, which is just floral and it's got a little bow on it. It's really, really cute on. And then this one's like a velvet version. They're really, really cute. So you can just kind of wear them like above or let the bow hang down. And you can also take this off and just use this as a tie around or you can use the plain scrunchie. So I love that. I thought these were so cool. Um, I got these ones at Amazon, so I will link this in the description box. I'll try to put as much as I can in the description box, but these are awesome and easy to wear a couple different ways. So if you're gonna get some scrunchies and you like the velvet trend, go look at those because they were cheap and they're really neat. All right, another thing I have been loving in the hot weather are sandals. I mean, that's a given. I feel like everybody wears sandals because tennis shoes is just kind of hot but I do still rock my Vans. I'm a tennis shoe person. So I have two different options. These ones are Old Navy slides. These are so cool. I've seen tons of people getting these. They're super cheap and they're like easy to wear for the pool or the beach because they're just slide-ons. I hate flip-flops like that go in between your toes, the normal flip-flops, because I just, I don't know, they're super uncomfortable to me. So I would much rather wear something like this. And then for a more like you know, going places look or evening. I got these ones. I love these. They're still like slides, but they're a little bit nicer. They're kind of dirty because I went to the mud. <laughs> I went to a festival wearing these and stepped in like the mud and the gravel, but I love these. These were from Express. Um, so they were a little bit more, but I wear them all the time. So the next one is a face moisturizer. This is by Clinique. And this is the moisturizer, but it's also like a redness solutions. And it kind of just is more for like color correction because especially in the summer, I don't like to wear as thick of makeup, but at the same time, I have a tiny bit of damage because when I was younger, I used to do the tanning bed and like outside tanning all the time. So this kind of just like corrects the spots or like redness on your face. And it also has SPF in it. So it's really great for kind of being outside and being in the summer, so. This is a hair product. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Oil, Coconut Butter Oil. And this is for your hair whenever it is really humid and hot outside. I love this because I have thick hair. It gets super, super like fuzzy and frizzy. And my hair is naturally like really curly, but I kind of like straighten it out often. So if it's straightened or even like this, I have to put this on. It really does hold a lot unless it's like extremely hot but yeah i really do love this i think it really uh it does the jobs all right my next favorite is my most favorite summer uh lip product and i just think this is so pretty i've worn it in vlogs before i've actually had people ask me what the color is because it's so nice it is the tarte lipstick i believe it was it's from their color splash edition so kind of like I don't know if it was last year or the year before when they had kind of like a mermaid-ish or like under the sea theme, but it is called Cha Cha. It's very bright, but it's so beautiful, especially if you're tan. So this is kind of what it looks like on the skin, but it's super, super pretty. It's like my favorite. If you look back at my 
spring clothing haul video, I believe I was wearing this and I love, love, love it. So, all right. And then my last products have to do with shaving. I have very sensitive skin. So obviously like in the summer, if you're in a hot area, you don't want to be wearing jeans all the time, or at least I can't, I can't stand that. <laughs> so instead of getting like a lot of razor burn or like rashiness, I found this new shave butter and it is awesome. It's shaving cream and it is for very sensitive skin. It is called Dr. Carver's. Looks like this. But it's very, very nice. It's the only shave gel or butter or whatever that I've found that actually works. And then I can even shave my legs like right before I go out and I they're perfectly fine. So I love that. And to follow through with it, I have the post shaving dew. So this is kind of like a finishing spray for your legs. So it's really cool, but it looks like this. And yeah, you just take it off and you spray it all over your legs when you're done shaving and you're dried off. And it just kind of like holds in the moisturizer and kind of lets your shave kind of like sink in and not really, you know, let all the rash and razor burn come up because I've been prone to getting that so bad. And it is not fun. <laughs> all right, so those are all of my favorites. Uh, let me know in the comments if you use any of these or if you liked any of these. I will put all the links that I can find in the description box if you want to check anything out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new because I would love to have you on my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye!